Yeah, hello, good day, everyone. Today, we are going to be looking at L hospital method or L hospital rule for solving or resolving limit problem, the limit of the function. Now, we are in limit now, I'm doing limit of the function, and in limit of the function, L of 2 is a vital rule if you to resolve most of the problems that involve the grammar that looks like um, factorization method, um, rationalization method, and so on. So L of 2 rule is a vital rule that can take care of factorization, um, uh, rationalization, and so on. But also have another special rule like tons rule. I'm going to teach that or I'm going to treat that in our next class. We'll do tons so how to do so to resolve the limit of a function. But today we are going to look at L2. The first thing I'm going to do, please ensure you subscribe to this channel. It's very important. The subscription is our energy. As you see your subscription, we have more energy to do more videos and so on. So let's dive to this first question one. What we'll have here is Oh, oh. The limit of s approaches 1 of s squared plus 3x plus 7 all over x minus 1. Now, what is L of 2? L of 2 is a rule that tests, kind of tells so that if the linear function uh, tends to a particular number in which direct instrumental fails to solve the problem, then you, divide, you are going to differentiate uh, the numerator and the denominator of that function respect of the variable that is present in that function. That's what the variable that is present in that function. If this one is f of s, and this one is g of x, and the direct parameter was not able to resolve the issue, the other is f prime of x all over the g prime of x. You don't apply a uh, quotient to know. You don't differentiate the upper side and differentiate the downside whatever for the variable present. What is the variable present? What is approaching it over here? Now this is limit s squared plus 3s plus 7 over s minus 1 at x approach 1. That is the meaning of that. That will put the... And our variable here is x. This is the variable present in this place. So, if we want to solve this problem, what we are going to have will be... First thing, we will check from direct substitution. Direct substitution means any way you see s, you place 1. That is not direct substitution. So, from direct substitution, we are going to have mask raised to power 2 plus 3 times 1 plus 7 over 1 minus 1 and that is going to give us 1 square is 1 3 times 1 is 3 now 1 plus 3 that is 4 plus 7 11 1 minus 1 that is 0 now a number over 0 is not a solution it's not a defined solution to a problem so because of that I would say okay this solution is not valid in limit, you must ensure that there's no solution like infinity over infinity, there's no solution like 0 over 0, and there's no solution like a number over 0. It's not possible. These are not solutions to problem. So that's why I try to guide this limit. That's why we have different uh, methods or rules of revolving problem. But the first important method you must use when you want to resolve a problem in limit is the direct solution. After you have applied the direct substitution and discover that the direct substitution is giving you any of these answers, then you now use any other suitable method that suits the question. In this case, now the direct substitution method gave us a level over 0, and 0 should not be present in the denominator of a function as a solution, though that's not a, a valid solution. So, what do we do? Let's do let's do. Let's apply from L to rule, from L host to rule. We add this, we have in first L2 it means that we should differentiate the numerator and the denominator with respect to this variable here. So we are going to differentiate now. We are going to differentiate. Let's differentiate and see what we are going to have. We are going to have 2x. We are going to have 3x. We are going to have 3. We are going to have 7. We are going to have 0. There is no S there. Over. We are going to x. We are going to have 1. We are going to have 1. We are going to have 0. Because there is no S there. The next thing, after you have the function, then anyway you see s now, place the value of s that s is tended to, which is where 1. So we have 2 times 1 plus 3 over 1. And it's going to give us 
2 times 1 is 2 plus 3 has to equal to 5. That's what we will have there. So the next question is this. The symbol as this. But you must check if the direct solution method can solve the problem. Because assume the direct solution method can solve it and you going to use the error of 2 method, it will be wrong. So the first method you apply is the direct substitution, which means anyway you see this x plays this one there. So let's try this solution for this. Using the first important method to test if the solution is valid is to use the direct solution method. So I already see x, you place 0 there. So we're going to have sine 0 over 0 cube. That gives us 0 over 0. Because sine 0 is 0, and 0 to 3 is 0. And we said 0 over 0 should not be a valid solution to the problem. So this is not a valid solution. From the direction method, we are not having a valid solution, so we are going to use the L of 2 method now. Now from L of 2 method, we are going to differentiate the numerator and the denominator with respect to this x. So we're going to have the limit x approaches 0. The rigid side x, we're going to have cos x over the rigid s cube, we're going to have 3 s squared. So anyway, you see x plus 0 again. Then you're going to have cos 0 over 3 0 squared, because 0 is 1, and 3 times 0 squared is still 0. The denominator is still 0, and if the denominator is 0, the solution is not still valid. The solution is not still valid. So the next thing, repeat the L of 2 method again for this solution, since it's not valid yet. So we're going to have limit S approaches 0. Ready cos S, we're going to have minus sine X. Ready 3 S squared, we're going to have 6 S. Now that is going to give us minus sine 0 all over 6 times 0. Minus sine 0 is 0, and 6 times 0 is also 0. We are back to this place again. That is not also a valid solution. That is not a valid solution. So this is also a valid solution. The next, we repeat the L plus 2 method again for this answer. We have limit x approaches 0 of differentiating minus sine x. We're going to have the ratio sine s, we're going to have cos s, the negative sine is still there. The ratio c, c s, we're going to have 6. So plus anyway c s, plus 0 again, we we'll have minus cos 0 over 6. I'm going to go to minus 1 over 6. That is the final answer to the problem because I arrive at a denominator that is not 0. But if the numerator is 0, and the denominator is a number, the answer will be 0. For example, if you have 0 over a, this one is equal to 0. So this is a valid solution to the problem. But if the denominator is 0, as far as the denominator is 0, that is not a valid solution to a problem. So let's go to the last question. The last question is a uh, solution. So if you have sine x, the limit of x, I'm going to take power by 2 of sine x over x minus uh, power by 2. Now, if, okay, let's go for the direct solution method is first method. Now, so the direct you are going to have sine pi over 2 all over x. Okay, that is pi over 2 minus pi over 2. That's going to give us sine pi over 2 in radian. In radian. Because now you are seeing pi here, the angles are given in radian. So this pi in front of this trig function is 180 degree. But this pi in the denominator that is not in front of any trig function. Is 3.142. So if pi is acting at an angle, we call it uh, 180 degree. Pi will just go to 180 degree. But pi as a whole generally is 3.142 in mass. But as an angle, is 180 degree. So this pi here, this pi here is 3.142. But this pi in front of this tree is 180 degree. But it's at the back of the tree, it's not 180, it's not 3.142. If it's acting as an angle, it's 180. But if it's not acting as an angle, it's just 3.142. So in degree, pi uh, radius is equal to 180 degree. So 180 over 2 that is 90. Sine 90 gives us 1. Then pi over 2 minus 1 over 2 that is 0. This one is not still valid. Why? Because the denominator is 0. So what do we do? Applying L loss 2 method. Applying L loss 2 method. L loss 2 method. L loss 2 method or rule. From L loss 2 rule. We are going to have limit x approaches um, pi over 2 of the rigidity side x, we have cos x. 
Relating x will have 1. Relating power 2, there's no x in this place, now it's 0. Because that will be a constant. So, NRC from x now to power 2 have cos pi over 2 over 1. So, what are we going to have there? Now, cos pi over 2 is 0. Because cos 180 over 2, that is 90, cos 90 is 0. It will be 0 over 1. And 0 over 1 in mathematics is equal to 0. So that's what I'm going to have in that place. So please take note of that. So lastly, lastly, let's say number four. Okay, before we go to number four, this is the question. This is the question, and uh, these are their valid solution. Please, you have to take a uh, good look at them and ensure you follow. It's very, very important. So let's look at limit. Limit x approaches zero. Let's look at limit x approaches zero of okay. Let's take uh, tan x. Let's take limit x approaches zero of tan x. That's what we're going to have. So the first thing we're going to do here solution. The first thing is to ensure anywhere you see x, you put zero. So, remember tan, tan x, I can also write this question like this, limit s approaches 0, tan x is sine s over cos x, sine s over cos s, that is tan x, so that will be equal to, that will be equal to sine 0 over cos 0, that is, that is 0 over 1, and that is still 0, so, the limit of this function at s approaches 0 is equal to 0. That's the limit of that one. So you can go and do, do for limit of s approaches 0 of cos x and other three function. It's very, very important and as simple as this. God bless you. Ensure you share this video and subscribe to this channel. It's a very important thing. God bless you all. It's very important. Thank you.